Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 80 of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Let me use the repel right now. So we're looking for the floating restaurant. Don't really remember where that is. Obviously not this one. Now this is where you get a low right hand. It's right in there. Floating restaurant must be... What is this? I somehow never noticed. The ball thrown by me is now thrown by the waves. I have no idea what that is. Alright, here we go. Restaurant. Ah, so you came, young Serene. The chief has already left to set up protection around the populated areas. You sent her off to the wrong location? What choice did I have? She's reaching her limit. We had to force her to stand by to regain her strength. And now we can finish our little talk. I've got one follow right here. And the other one is Annabelle. But I don't think she knows it herself. Nanu and I, we found her here ten years ago, unconscious on the shore of this very island. We just finished our mission here. She lost most of her memories, but four things she could tell us. The name was Annabelle, that she came from the Hoenn region, that she had protected some tower there, that she was a powerful trainer. Then she placed... Then she was placed under observation by the National Police. All because they detected an insane amount of ultra wormhole energy from her. It may be that she was wandering lost in the wormhole for some time. Regardless of that, she then entered the International Police herself. And then got promoted right up past you, her senior, is that it? Got a hand to the International Police, they really are terrible. Using the same strategy and setting up another follower, even though the same thing failed before. The assumptions you are half right in. However, this mission she chose herself. Perhaps something in her laments, whether she is conscious of it or not. Perhaps she feels some grief over the fate of the Ultra Beast which came to this world, just as she did. But she is still a follower. It is her fate to be targeted by the Ultra Beasts. The follower, with a follower right before them, the Ultra Beast will run wild with excitement. No matter how good she might be, everyone has their limits. That's why I had hoped to distract the Ultra Beasts, to desert, divert some of their attention. That's why I asked you to help with the catching of the Ultra Beasts. But you're out of luck now. With Annabelle in that condition, she'll be done for if she runs into any Ultra Beasts now. Hmm. Yes. I imagine the false leader Centron will not buy us much more time. But before we're out of time, girl, how about a battle with me? What a good little girl you are. Then let's go. Oh boy. Kahuna and Hapu again. Or Nanu, whatever. And he's going to be stronger now, I'm sure. So there's that. Sableye. Level 63 is not too bad. Um, yeah, they're all just as effective. That said, they're not very effective at all, are they? Of course, Sableye is a ghost dark type, so it doesn't make sense. Still, I think Shadow can tank this without too much issue. Just keep using Faint Attack. It should be pretty good. I am now poisoned. Yay! And Sableye is now poisoned! Come on, Shadow. Tear yourself out of this. 
You can do it, you can do it. Squelch that poison immediately. Yay, best experience. Yay, more experience. Crocodile, huh? Time for rake. And we'll use Sparkling Aria here. Also, I am getting quite tired. So there's the thing. I should not have taken my antidepressant right now. Oh well. I probably just have to make sure that this is the last episode I record in this session. It's alright, I got time this week, so... To record further sessions. Level 76! It's an impression. Um... She's Ember. I think that's one reason why I'm like losing out on commentary here. I'm just so tired. Fake out. I hate you. Power jump. I really hate you. Take that in one shot. Why not? Um. Nymphy. Oh, I should use Nymphy to begin with. I forgot fairy, about fairy type moves. <coughs> the raining kiss. Why not? That's unfortunate. Alright. Wild Charge. Dark Wolf. Really? Really? Really with this bull crap? Why is everybody just getting one shotted here? Really? With this bull crap? Come on! This Persian is freaking wrecking my team and I can't do anything about it. Well, I couldn't do anything about it. I obviously did do something about it now. But, it's just dark. Moon Blast. Blam! Goodbye, Hunch Girl. And it's going to use Absol. And Moon Blast. Oh boy. Oh my gosh! I have no hope. Not very effective and no effect all down the freaking board here. Oh my goodness. So I use Night Slash. Am I gonna lose this because I don't have any freaking revives? Do not think I have any revives at all. He's a max person on Ember. I 
And we're just gonna have to freaking drop Inferno Overdrive immediately. And hopefully that's enough because the Ember's not going to survive, which is going to put me in Shadow. And I mean, Shadow might be able to tank it, but I'm out of revive, so it's going to come down to just Shadow at that point. Oh, thank gosh. Thank Moonlight. <laughs> Looks like you got me. Yeah, freaking! What was that? The one freaking Pokemon that managed to freaking smack three of my Pokemon down, one shotted. That was absolutely ridiculous. And this is why I do not believe that this game can be nuzlocked. All of my Pokemon were higher level. And I'm still getting one-shotted. That'll do, girl. I think that'll do fine. Don't let me down. I want zero, zero, zero. Well then, young Serene. It's time to get down to work, is it not? Our final UB codename. Glutton. The hunter said he would lead it deep into the heart of Resolution Cave. UB05, Glutton, 000. Here you are, as usual. Tain 10 Beast Balls. Serene, this is your final assignment. But first, my own friend, let's get the regular reports out of the way. Madam Wick finished analyzing all the data that we gathered on the last UB you caught. To learn more about that creature, then you should speak with Madam Wick to the eighth, in the Aether Secret Bases. Now it's time to get to work. If you ask me anything, I am here. Resolution Cave, huh? Have I been to Resolution Cave? Doesn't that sound like something I'm familiar with? Well, we'll find out. Once I heal all of my Pokemon. And if Nanu was that freaking ridiculously OP, I almost don't want to see Glutton. Glutton sounds terrifying. Resolution Cave. Where is Resolution Cave? Um, the Gauntlet. I don't actually know where Resolution Cave is. The battle tree. Hmm. Not executor island. Oh, frick. I don't know where Resolution Cave even is. Not seeing it on the map anywhere. This resolution cave is the vast pony canyon. Where the heck is resolution cave? I don't know where to find resolution cave.
There's the ruins of hope, but I guess I can go explore the new area, see if Resolution Cave is in there. I don't actually know where Resolution Cave is. But let's travel into here, because obviously this is a cave. So let's see if this cave is Resolution Cave. Guessing not. It didn't say Resolution Cave when I entered it. Oh wait, is it that area? Is this it? No, this is the canyon again. Where is Resolution Cave? Yeah, that's just the canyon. Again, where am I going? Let's go to the moon. Hmm. It's on this island, but I don't actually know where. Alright, well I guess it must be in the new area. Not in any of those places. I have no clue where I'm going. I'm going to be completely honest with you about that. No idea where I'm going or how to get there, so... You'll have to bear with me while I try to figure out where I'm headed. Everything. That was a crit, and that was all you could do to me. Wow. Way to go. Way to go. Goodbye, gum shoes. I mean, these got. These guys aren't great experience, but they're still pretty decent. Max potion. Hello. <clears throat> the Pokemon is tough as nails. Tell by Black Belt Roy. Shadow is not a great pick for this. Oh, 56 Pokemon, dear Luna. That would be a good choice though. Because I can't even be hurt by fighting moves. Or a Nebby can't anyway. Dynamic Punch, it's not effect Debbie. Have you ever tried to punch a ghost? Oh, that would have been a great chance to see the uh, Psychic Z move. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh well. I'm deflated. I've lost all heart. Resolution Cave. Where do you suppose Resolution Cave is? Ready, set, go! Uh, Ace Trainer Jackson. Fuckish. That thing is so ugly, though. Holy crap. <sighs> Tired. 
Aquatail. I hurt. That did indeed hurt quite a lot. Just the experience. <clears throat> Whoops. So then Marowak. Um fire typing. Fire dark type. So I will use Rake for this. Sorry for the yawns. I am um, very tired. I took uh, I took that antidepressant that I'm on earlier, and it is apparently starting to affect me. I'm getting tired, so. It kind of sucked really bad. Probably don't even need to use Catastrophe K here, but it's too adorable not to use. Catastrophe <sighs> K! Yay! Game set. You know the way to Resolution Cave? Congratulations. I guess not. Zygarde Peace. Very tips. Times when you throw a Pokemon to catch a Pokemon that shakes just once. More Pokemon you catch, the more likely this curious phenomenon is to occur. To make it more likely you'll be able to catch your target, it's called a critical capture. I have indeed had critical captures occur, and they are awesome. I don't know where to go! Looking for this cave, pretty hard, but, well, I attacked from the tree. Emolga! What? Now uh, you're a Unova Pokemon. That's weird. <clears throat> Apparently I have an Emolga already. Oh yay! SOS! I haven't had to deal with that in some time. Mostly, mostly because I think I've been running from pretty much all the battles. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know where the resolution cave is. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this episode here. Um, next time... I will find out where Resolution Cave is, and we'll head there. So, that said, I hope you guys have been enjoying, and I will see you all next time. Alola!